Uh oh, Colin Kaepernick, juke him, juke him, oops, oops, ha <laughs> ha, touchdown, yeah, yeah, wait a second, that was way too easy, this game seems familiar, this is the same damn game. Another year, another Madden. Yes, folks, welcome to this year's edition of Football Madden 15. Today's review will focus on both the 7th and 8th generation console input. This year, we get another roster update from the proud people of EA, with new upgrades and some more than others. Will this title be enough to bring back the old Madden haters from before, or will it come up short again in the running? Now, let's get straight to gameplay for this week's breakdown. It's game time. In 2005, Madden introduced one of the greatest defensive football games of all time. Ray Lewis was one of the cover athletes that shook the world to its core, and the game gave us the ever-beloved hit stick. In the 10th year anniversary of the game, Madden 15 returns to its full defensive gaming roots. Everything from passing, rushing, 
War in the Trenches defense has been focused on this year. This is the ultimate positive in the overall game design, while maintaining the momentum of the great running game in the previous game of Madden 25, making the ground and pound playstyle feeling like it's getting back in business. Everything about Madden's gameplay has improved, but one factor still lingers, and that is Superstar Mode. This mode has been lazily cloaked under the Connected Franchise title, being so underwhelming that the connection is only seen while a player is an owner, rendering coach and player modes useless. And that's why they call it the Connected Franchise Mode. Also, the passing game is still terrible. No matter how much you improve the binary code, the passing mechanic is all too broken. Interceptions happen way too much in the game, and precision passing isn't enough to stop the glitching gods of ball hawking defensive backs. Here's a tip try practicing your tackling in the tackling school in practice. Now, Matt integrates a high-low tackling system with defensive cones to show where your trajectory will end up. With the less accurate hit stick as a third option now, wrapping up tackles are more effective and can prove worthy on those clutch situations. Also, you can use the left trigger for strafing motion. It's good for coverage and for spotting man-on-man -man for defense. Lastly, you have the game slot for NFL Madden. Use this to improve AI in your passing game to realistic standards. Also, don't forget that matchup and coach stick I talked about earlier. For disadvantages and advantages towards your offense, remember, green is for advantage, yellow is for neutral, and red means disadvantage. Use that matchup stick wisely. Now there's been a lot of negative press towards the Madden franchise, and I understand the notion behind it. Madden for the past few years have been coasting on their NFL license ever since they bought it in 2006, and fans were absolutely furious. But now with the new gaming director, and the proof that sales didn't come up to snuff in their past proven as motivation, this Madden team is not only making strides to put out a better game, especially on the newer consoles. Okay, for gameplay, I reward the Xbox 360 and PS3 version of Madden 15 with a B-. Small improvements and changes have been made to the title ever since Madden 25, but it doesn't justify a full price. The replay value is pretty much the same for mid-level, and the consumer report, I would buy this new or used around mid-price. Now, for the next generation console, I award the Xbox One and PS4 a B+. More love has been given towards the newer generation, and it's seen through high definition graphics, better and more depth inside the game modes, better tackling, more features towards the overall gameplay, and just a smooth overall experience and a good game of football. Now, the replay value in franchise season and anything else is around mid to high level, and the consumer report buy this game new or used around mid or high price. So, it's really worth it. Hey guys, thanks for watching the rundown review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't worry, more reviews and content are coming up soon. Here are the current consoles I can review at the moment. Comment below for a pick at the next review game. And again, thanks for watching. Cafe Ole, baby. Peace and love. I'm out.